So I'm going to model a mechanism for drawing the pedal curve of an ellipse where the pedal point is not uh, the center of the ellipse, but um, at, on its circumference, in fact, on its um, circumference at the major axis. Uh, it's figure 270 uh, here, the uh, one on the left hand side. It's an adaptation of the of the mechanism uh, which drew the uh, the pedal point uh, at the centre. Uh, it's using the same uh, same mechanics to actually uh, create the tangents to the ellipse. The pedal point, um, sorry, the pedal curve uh, is formed by projecting the pedal point onto the tangents to the original curve. Uh, here's uh, how we did how we, we uh, create the ellipse. Then we're going to have um, a line here. We'll give that length a, and we have this distance here, and we're going to make that uh, the square root of uh, b squared minus a squared. Actually, not that. a squared minus b squared. Let's get. We don't want b to be the uh, semi minor axis and a to be the semi major axis. And um, what we're going to do is take a, a line that's perpendicular to bc um, through b. So. Um, you can do it like this. Is that perpendicular constraint gives me this line, and now as if we drive it with an angle here, as B moves, it turns out that that uh, perpendicular line there envelops an ellipse. That means it's tangential to an ellipse. We can show that. Um, by creating um, the envelope that we use, the same tool as, as for locus, but with a line selected, um, that gives us the curve, which that family of lines uh, is tangential to. And in this case, it looks very much like an ellipse. Now let's confirm that. Uh, by finding this equation. Um, divide that whole thing through by a squared b squared, and we see that's y squared over b squared plus x squared over a squared equals 1. Uh, that is uh, the ellipse with semi-major axis um, a and semi-minor axis b. Um, now, to create the pedal, we actually want the pedal of a point which lies out here. Um, so our pedal point, the pedal curve, the pedal point, we want to be at a distance A from the center. We're sitting out there um, at the edge um, of the ellipse. I'll just ch change the color of this ellipse so it doesn't interfere with our pedal curve. Um, and um, let's create the final piece of our mechanism, it goes from D up to that that line and that, that what we want is, sorry, we want this to be uh, a right angle. So we're projecting D onto the tangent and we can watch as we, as we move things around where that goes. And we can ask for the curve. And create the curve. As we see, it, it, it's a very cardioid type shape. In fact, if we uh, we just beat out to nothing and created a circle here, we would get the cardioid curve. And uh, let's have a look at the um, equation.
and then we have a fourth order um, uh, fourth order curve.